Good morning, everybody, and uh, this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So we have dropped below the triangle and we have broken below uh, this level that we've been looking at, which is 32.613. So I'd be looking for a pullback to test those levels uh, before jumping in. Just bear one thing in mind, though, and uh, this is something that happens so often with, um, with the US indexes is you think you have a bearish break on a range double top triangle um, flag uh, you, know, you name it there's, there's so many different bits of structure here but then all that happens is it drops into a channel the channel comes and finds support lower down at a, at a, a better level and then you suddenly shoot to the upside so just keep that in the back of your mind so for me at the moment this Top trend line is still the one we need to break, so we need to get above these highs of last week before we start looking for longs. Um, at the moment, we do have a crossover of the moving average, which is a bullish crossover, but then we've got this little bit of a squirt to the downside. So I'd want to see a pullback, test the structure before being convinced that there are shorting opportunities. So if we just keep that long-winded narrative in the back of your head, you'll see what I'm talking about here. So everything was fine up until the last three hours, uh, the last yeah, three hours of the market, and uh, we had a bit of a, a sell-off here. Now, the weekly bar opened up here, there's a bit of a short tail to the upside, and now we have a long red body at the moment. So it does look like a bit of a rejection. Any move up and closing back in, you know, sort of at the 32s, uh, 780 area is definitely going to uh, you know, create a range bar and that range bar is going to be confusion for the week which is kind of what I'm expecting so just look to the left there is quite a bit of structure here where we are you can see that and then a little bit lower down is a bit more so I would expect buyers to come in here at the moment forcing this into a channel and then pushing price up so what we're looking for is a retest in this area, 32.613. But if we just drop down the hour, because that's the level we want to be playing, you can see that you don't want to be short when the oscillator is a group like that. So you're looking for some kind of uh, a rejection of a level higher up. And this, let's just get it straight. This area here is the closest. It's 32.623. And then also this area here. A lot going on there at 32.716. Problem I suppose we have is it's only 1% away. I mean, we swing one, we swing 1% in five minutes at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. But that's the only opportunity that I see for shorts. I uh, don't see opportunities for longs at the moment, obviously. Don't want to be long down here, especially when you've got to cross over the moving averages and oscillators group like that. So uh, that would be bottom picking, and I'm not in the mood for bottom picking. So this is the only move that I can see. We see a pullback into here, and then a a move to the downside. So on the 15 minutes uh, yesterday, I was watching this session yesterday, you know, wondering you know what's going to happen. You're getting a lot of support here, but then you're getting a lot of rejection. We're still a 50-50 call. Um, you know, you, no way you could anticipate this break as it was happening. So uh, looking at the oscillators, you're probably looking for a move back to the downside. If it does move, I suspect it's going to be caught by 32.078, 32.247. So it is possible, definitely is possible for it to continue to the downside. But this to me is a bit of an exhaustion bar. So uh, I prefer pull back on structure, reject the structure, then jump in short. Uh, if it continues to the downside, so be it. We're not chasing that. We will wait for a better setup. Anyway, hope that helps and uh, we will catch up with you on Monday morning. Cheers for now.